friends and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be painting an acrylic painting which is very fun. I've been getting into acrylics recently and I am enjoying them more than I thought I would. But do not worry, the watercolors are not going anywhere. They will be back. They are still my favorite thing in the world. I do enjoy being able to cover up my mistakes. That is definitely a perk of acrylics. So with this painting, I started out with a digital sketch. I've really been enjoying doing that lately, especially with paintings that are in watercolor because I can figure out the composition and move things around really easily and I can figure out the colors and tweak them and it's just very simple for getting all my ideas down. I've mentioned this before but I don't have very good visualization, like I just don't really have a great mind's eye. I don't know, maybe I'll make a more in-depth video talking about that at some point, but for now all you need to know is I don't really visualize things that well. So it's really helpful to me to be able to work out everything that I know I want to have in the piece and make it all work before I put it on the canvas or the paper and can't move it around anymore. You will notice that the model's face changed, or maybe you didn't notice, I don't know, but it did change. <laughs> uh, the original sketch had just a face from my imagination. But for the actual painting, I wanted something that, you know, actually had some details that I could add because this is a pretty big painting. It is 12 by 16 inches or somewhere along those lines. It takes up my whole desk, so that gives you context. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> the model changed because I wanted more detail because I'm painting pretty big, except the face ended up being pretty small on the canvas anyway, so it probably would have been fine, but we're not going to worry about that. So the model is my friend Tenzin, um, he was very kind and took these reference photos for me because it was a pretty particular way that I wanted the face to look and the way that I wanted the head to tilt and I'm really sick of using myself as a reference and I didn't want to spend hours on Pinterest. So thank you very much Tenzin, very much appreciate you um, and thanks for ensuring that my characters have hair. I think definitely the skin tones were very very tricky. With this piece, I was originally going for more like muted tones, you know, desaturated, not calling too much attention to the skin itself. I didn't want it to appear very, you know, vibrant and lifelike. But then we ended up going a little too far in the dead direction and there was a bit of a zombie phase. So then I kind of overcorrected and things got very orange. So if anyone has tips on mixing muted tones and muted skin tones in particular, or even just painting skin tones with acrylic, I would very much appreciate that. Even if you could point me towards a different channel that you love that has great tips, please, please save me because I am really struggling here. You know, it is what it is and I probably will paint over it later. I think I mentioned this in my last acrylic video, but I'm really struggling with the workflow of acrylics because I'm used to painting from light to dark and then I just add more dark and then it gets more vibrant. But with acrylics, it's like the more light you want to go, the more white you have to add, which I guess is, you know, the case in most painting. And then it gets like all desaturated and kind of muddy and yeah, I am I'm struggling with that, so that is going to be something I'm working on for a while. But for this video, I'm just painting 
the face and one of the many hands that will eventually be in this painting. Um, it did take me two days just to film this much. So uh, yeah, this is going to be a, a long haul. I think the thing about acrylics that is taking me so long is that I can just paint over things until I'm happy with them. And that means that I just keep going, which is, you know, maybe not the best thing for my um, other commitments. <laughs> um, but we're not going to worry about that. We're not going to worry about the things that I'm avoiding when I paint, because painting is supposed to be relaxing, right? And it is, it is relaxing. It is relaxing to have a big canvas to be working on. It's relaxing to just, you know, get into that zone. I've been listening to a lot of audiobooks lately, which I didn't think I was an audiobook person. But when I actually have something that I need to work on for long periods of time, or I don't need to, but you know, it's helpful if you're working on a big painting to work on it for long periods of time so you actually get it done. And it's, it's nice to just have one thing going on in the background that I can like half listen to and also it's getting me to actually read nonfiction because I don't really read nonfiction on my own that often. So the books that I've been listening to are Cast by Isabel Wilkerson. We spell our names the same way. It's very, very cool. Um, that's definitely not the reason why I originally uh, looked more into that book. Nope. But I would definitely recommend that book. It's about the history of... It's about the history of race in America. That's a very simplified ver way of saying it. And she actually avoids using the word race or uses it very little in this book because it's really about how our racial system or what we think of as racism in America is actually more similar to a caste system. Like... In India or in Nazi Germany um, it's a very dark book really sad and uh, you know trigger warnings for violence um, graphic descriptions of violence uh, racial trauma all of that but if you can stomach it um, and especially if you're a white person definitely recommend reading that and that's not all my thoughts on it, but that's all I have time for. The other book that I've been listening to is Atomic Habits by James Cleary, I think is his name. Definitely more of a self-help book, not as complex as Cast, but it's, it's pretty good. Of, of the self-help books that I have read, and you know, the kind of like mainstream psychology stuff, I guess is maybe a better way to say it. It is on the better side, but like a lot of those books, it does have a problem with, you know, distilling things a little bit too much, and I don't know, it's it gets a little, a little repetitive, a little black and white, and there's like these chapter summaries at the end of every chapter, and I'm like, okay, the chapter summary, you know, is basically the chapter without the anecdotes, so if you don't like a ton of anecdotes, not for you, um, but I found some, some useful things in there. Um, the other book that I listened to was The Gifts of Imperfection by Brene Brown, which is, again, another mainstream psychology book. I didn't like it very much. I don't know. Apparently, it's one of her earlier books, so her later books, I guess, get better. But I did enjoy her TED Talk, but The Gifts of Imperfection was just a lot of, hey, I have research, and I'm not going to tell you actually what what I learned, like what the research was you know, give, like, I'm not going to give you any quantitative data or even qualitative data, honestly. It's just like, from the research, I discovered this and then here's how it applies to my life. So, you know, if you're a middle class mother, then probably would be helpful. I don't know, but I'm obviously not a, a mother. It's not, it wasn't as useful to me, but that was one of the books that I, that I read. Um, or listened to. Okay, that <laughs> that is what I have for you today. I enjoyed chatting with you, and I hope you like what I have of this painting so far. Um, I'm really happy with it so far. I can definitely see the potential. Um, and please, please, please give me your tips in the comments. I really need them. So 
even if it's like criticism about an aspect of the painting itself please let me know i'd love to hear that just you know be nice about it that's that's my rule be nice all right i am gonna say goodbye now um thanks for listening to me today um and i hope you enjoyed this and i will see you when i see you bye bye